Hey guys, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to talk about a few favorites of mine. I have skincare, some body care, uh, clothes, uh, just kind of a little bit of everything. You all know I like to come with the hodgepodge of things. So let's go ahead and get it started. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with some clothes and I never do that. I always wait to the end. And you all know that I live in Texas, South Texas, and it is hot out here. And there is a type of dress that I've really been enjoying wearing and it would be the ruche style type of dresses and i'm gonna link a video down below so you can go check it out you can actually see me modeling the dresses but i have a red one okay and this is the ruching and you all know that if you have bumps and lumps clothes with the ruching are very forgiving and if you need to wear a girdle with it you know all of that kind of stuff is super forgiving so i have a red one that um I've been wearing and it's got the straps okay and then I also have the same kind of dress but okay let me turn it around not that you would totally be able to see it but this one is a strapless and it's a black one and it is so 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 nice to be able to wear um, clothes like this where you can just kind of pop them on and don't have to worry about you know you can of course wear your girdle you know some people do some people don't but I wear uh, shapers and me saying girdle is just kind of dating me that's what my mom and my grandmother called it but you know you can wear the girdles even the, the ones that are like super snatched and they kind of dig in your skin a little bit and kind of show it extra bumps well you know clothes with the ruching are really and I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly that's just gonna hide all of that stuff so anyway that has been a favorite of mine all right so next up you know I gotta have some shoes in there and it's some tennis shoes and if I have a tennis shoe it's going to be a platform I love wearing platforms and it's because they're so comfortable and but and this is like what size is this this is a nine and even though you know nine is a rather larger size but it really doesn't look big seems like the tennis shoes with the platform on it would make your foot look big or the shoe look big no not with these but anyway these are Pumas okay and I think right now you can catch these on sale um, I've had them for a couple of months and yeah I think that they are super 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 duper cute all right now I have a body butter and this is by Biosense and this is their unscented squalene capping toning body butter and I didn't uh, get it for the toning part I wanted to try it out for uh, the squalene and just to kind of see if it would be hydrating to my body this is it right here and the consistency is it's kind of thick it's not the thickest I would say it kind of ranges in the middle as far as that's concerned now as far as me noticing any Tony, I haven't noticed that, but I feel as though, um, you know, it gives me good hydration, but it hydrates the skin and it absorbs really well. So yeah, that's what I've been loving about this. And to me overall, uh, as far as skincare products, uh, I think that Biosense has some really good ones. I've tried their um, eye cream, their serum, their moisturizer, all really, really good. And with Biosense, I've noticed that people either love them or they either hate it the next thing that I want to try of theirs is a oil and you all know that I love oils I like to use oils in my nighttime skincare routine after I've applied everything I will put the oil on uh, my face but yeah this one is really nice and I've really been enjoying it. okay so next up I have some eye patches and these are um, sheet little sheet eye patches these are the baggage claim gold eye mask they come in a box like this and typically you know I'm not that uh, sheet mask type of girl you know because uh, the ones that I've tried a lot of the ones that I've tried in the past like uh, you have to really be still or still kind of slide down now there are some that I like and I actually did a video on some really good masks to try but I like these these come in like a package like this and they're gold and they really they stick you know you, know, you can walk around and do your housework or just kind of um, lounge in the tub or however you want to do it you don't have to worry about them falling down but I found that these help with puffiness uh, as far as like fading uh, dark spots uh, I feel as though I need to use them longer for that 
but in the area of puffiness and uh, hydration, keeping that under eye. Hydrated, really good, and I love these. All right, I have a moisturizer, and you all have seen me talk about this moisturizer in other videos, and typically, when you see me doing videos and I'm talking about the products that I use, nine times out of 10, those are going to um, be in a favorites if I like them. Okay, uh, and that way, and I like to do that to just kind of demonstrate to you that I have been using the skincare or the makeup or whatever it is. But this one is the Fresh Black Tea Advanced Age Renewal Cream. This is one of their newer creams on the market, and I really like it. Um, it has, um, it's a thick consistency, y'all, but I will wear it during the day if I'm wearing some type of heavy or uh, a matte foundation. Like right now, the foundation that I have on is super matte. It's not a tint, it's not a hydrated tint, it's just a full on matte foundation. And of course, you know, anytime if you have a very matte foundation, and you have uh, probably mature, dry, or normal skin, you really wanna do a really good prep. And this one right here plays really well with different foundations and tints and things like that. I'm sure you've heard of instances where people will wear makeup, like they'll apply their skincare and then they'll put on their makeup and then it'll start to ball up or it'll start to peel off or sweat. You you know what I'm talking about. Well, I've noticed I've been trying these with different foundations and this one plays really well. Plus, so far, it's working really well for my skin. All right, so next up, I have a fragrance and this is Miss Dior. And this is it. This is the latest one that they came out with. And this is in the fragrance family of floral. So it has Lily of the Valley, Soft Musk, and Centifolia Rose. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So this one smells really good. The longevity to me is incredible. If you spray it on your clothes, you will smell it on your clothes if you don't wash it. Like if you have a jacket and you get a little on your jacket, you're still gonna smell it on your jacket. You're gonna have to literally wash your jacket. I do typically always get compliments on this fragrance and when this one came out, I remember there was a little bit of pushback because people were saying, why do they keep adding these flankers? Why do they keep adding the same fragrance? But I also have this uh, Miss Dior and this one smells complete. It, I'm not going to say completely different. You can tell that there are similarities, but the fragrance to me, the fragrance difference to me is enough to where I wouldn't complain about them being similar. I'm not sure if I'm making sense, but anyway, this one smells good. And if you're ever in Sephora or Macy's or any place like that, definitely stop by the counter and check it out. All right, so next up, I have a primer, a moisturizer, and a, um, a glow tint. And if you've been keeping up with me, you probably already know what I'm gonna say. I debated on whether or not I was gonna add this in the video, but there may be somebody watching this video that hasn't seen my last couple of videos, but this is the Element Superfood Glow Primer Moisturizer. So let me tell you, if you've been rocking with me for a while, you know I really don't do primers, but the reason that I like this one is because of the moisturizer and the glow features that it has in it. And if you're one that likes to do that no makeup makeup look and you really like to have um, like a radiant glow from within, this is something that you need. And if you don't want to pay the coin for this, find something that is similar to this okay because i think that what makes this product so good is that it has that moisturizer added to it plus they've added a little glow to it but the way that i like to use it is i always use it with a tint i'll never use this product with a heavy foundation like a matte foundation a full coverage foundation or even something that says it's medium or natural i wouldn't do that i would always use this with some type of tint because I feel like you're you're going to get the best look. But anyway, this is, I love it. Next time you're in, you'll probably see it in Macy's. I don't know if Sephora has any uh, samples of this one, but anyway, if you're ever in the stores, Macy's or Sephora, I'm not sure if Ulta has it, definitely stop by and try it out. All right, so I think that's it, short and sweet. Just a few products that I've been enjoying and I wanted to tell you all about them. Let me know, have you tried any of the products that I've talked about? If so, let me know how they worked out for you. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches. Oh. <sighs>